imagine you are managing feedback of your youtube channel where multiple person submit feedback reports through email application message or any other form manually consolidating this feedback information into a sharepoint list for tracking feedback can be time consuming and also it may generate an error in this video i will show you how you can automate this process using power automate so every time a feedback is submitted the data is automatically inserted into a sharepoint list so that it will save your time and it will also ensure the data accuracy hello everyone welcome to power automate tutorial today in this video i will tell you the solution of the problem that can be achieved using power automate hi this is krupali from knowhow academy before going ahead in this video let me tell you what you will learn from this video first you will learn why you need to save your data into sharepoint list using power automate and the second thing you will learn how to store data in sharepoint using power automate so without delay let's get started so let me tell you the first thing why you should save your data into sharepoint list using power automate as i mentioned you in the scenario which i explained in the beginning of the video so to managing this information into excel it will take time and also it may generate an error so to automate the data save information we need some data storage so sharepoint is the best choice to store data so we will use the automate or we can say we will use power automate to do this task so i hope you understand that why you need to store data into sharepoint list using power automate now let me tell you the second thing that is how you can store data into sharepoint list using power automate so let me show you the practical implementation so as i mention you that we will gather feedback either via mail either via application or via any reports or forms so first i will tell you that how using power automate you can store data into sharepoint list so let me show you first sharepoint list so this is my sharepoint list the name of my sharepoint list is a feedback and it is under the know how personal youtube channel where i am managing the feedback information of my youtube channel now i will not directly insert data from here but i will use power automate to insert the data so for that you need to click on create and right now we are creating instant cloud flow because i want to show you manually how data is inserted later on i will show you how you can insert data using an application via power automate so let me just take a instant cloud flow and then select the trigger manually trigger a flow and click on create once it is created i advise you to give a meaningful name to your power automate flow so for that i am giving a name let's say a uh, test flow and here when you click on manually trigger you need to enter the input variable why because whatever user will enter that value i want to store inside a sharepoint list so for that what i will do i will here take manually three variable which will store the information of feedback id then which person submit the feedback and what is the feedback detail of that person or you can say what is the feedback content by that person so for that i will take three variables and for taking a variables or you can say taking the input variable inside uh power automate you need to click plus sign so here it will ask that which type of variable you want to add so i want to add text variable so i will take that 
text variable and here automatically you will able to see input but i will give a meaningful name to the variable so that is variable uh, email okay and then i will take one another variable text and which will be the type of uh, feed, uh, text or you can say the uh, which will store the feedback so here variable feedback and here i will not write anything now here this feedback id i will not take it from the user but i will insert the current date and time in the feedback id so i will not take it from the user so right now i am taking only two variable now after that what you need to do after that you need to select an action which will insert data into the sharepoint list so for that you need to click on new step then you need to search for sharepoint once you search for the sharepoint select that and here you will able to see the possible action of the sharepoint now which action you need to select so i want to insert data into the sharepoint list so for that you need to select uh, create item so this is the uh, one of the action which will take care of when the data is inserted into the sharepoint list so select that create an item then you need to select under which sharepoint site you want to insert data so i will select the site from the drop down list so here i will select that know how personal site now from the sharepoint site which list i am considering so i have made a submit or uh, sorry not submit but feedback list so select that once you select that automatically here you will able to see the number of column which you have mentioned in the uh, list so title email and feedback data now in title what i want to insert now in title i want to insert the time stamp or you can say date and time so for that i will uh, select the date timestamp so it will insert the time you can also select the date why because every timestamp is a different that's why then after i need to select a variable which i have created when i was triggering the flow so my variable name is variable email so here once you click on add dynamic content here you will able to see the variable email then i want to see the feedback data so for that i have already created a variable called variable feedback now my task is over so after executing that flow whatever data you will insert via power automate it will be inserted into the sharepoint list so let's check it out so let me save that flow my flow saved successfully then it's time for testing so click on test now since this flow is manually triggered so i need to enter the item why because i have taken two variables so let me just click on test and here it will ask to sign in if you are executing your flow first time so i have a permission to sign in into sharepoint site now here it will ask the variable which i have created at the time of triggering the flow or designing a trigger so let's say variable email i'm writing my dummy email krupali at the rate gmail.com and whatever the feedback you want to submit you can edit so you, you can say that your channel is very nice very nice and informative Mate. and you can write so many things but right now for just testing purpose i'm writing one line and then click on run flow after that you will see that your flow run successfully started to monitor it go to the flow run page but i don't want to monitor i just want to click on done so here you can see that flow is executed and here you will see the message that your flow run successfully and here you will see that green color tick mark that that means that trigger is also executed and the action is also executed successfully now it's time to check whether the data is inserted in a sharepoint list via power automate or not so let me go to the sharepoint list now here it is showing blank i need to just refresh it 
so let me go to the another tab and come back again now here you can see that timestamp is inserted in the feedback id and who submitted that feedback and what is the feedback content you can see it here so i have submitted data through the power automate but in reality it is not the case that we need to manually trigger the flow but in reality via some application they will submit the feedback so how to do that so let me show you the practical demo for that so here you can see that i have designed one application using that application i will submit data into the sharepoint list so what you need to do so i have designed this application in power app so in power app you need to add the already designed flow if it is not designed then you can create it so let me go to the flow and here i have already added a flow let me show you the flow which i have designed it is same only the trigger will be different let me show you so let me click on this three dot and go to edit now here you can see that i have taken a trigger that is called power app trigger why because i want to execute this test power app flow when feedback is submitted via the power app so for that i need to select the trigger power app now inside that trigger i have taken three things first thing is id why because id i will pass it via the power app then i have taken a second variable that is called email and the third variable that is called feedback and rest of the thing which i have taken this is the same but here you need to understand that when i uh, or let me just wait remove that here you need to understand that that variable you need to edit same way but the symbol will be different so let's say if you click on add dynamic content and here you will able to see that variable id then again variable email and then again feedback data okay so you know in previous uh, power automate flow if you just expand that and go to the edit here you will see the different symbol of variable why because i was uh triggering flow manually but here the flow is triggered by the power app here you will able to see the different symbol rest of the things are same so here i have already designed a flow let me save it and just once it is saved automatically it will go to the power app page and let me close it if it is not gone then on submit button what you need to write on submit button you need to write that flow name so let's say here test power app dot run automatically it will run the flow by the power app now once you write the uh, bracket you need to pass three argument first argument is the id so as i told you that id is a uh, time stamp at which time or, or on which date feedback is submitted so in power app there is one function called now using that you will you can insert your current date and time of the server now second argument uh, i want to pass the email id so i have already logged in into power app using my email id so how can i get my login email id so that i should not pass email id manually every time so for that one function is there which will take care the current user email id who is logging so user dot email then after that whatever it is written inside that text box i need to forward it into the power automate so click on that text box and see what is the name of the text box so this is the name of a text box is reach button or reach text box so here write down that uh, reach text editor dot you need to write the html text and complete the bracket now save it and run it now give your valuable feedback okay well, i have written a wrong spelling just let me correct it save it okay now here i want to give a feedback you can give feedback in n number of line and so on so let's say this is the feedback feedback from power app by user 
Krupali, your application or we can say your uh, channel is very nice, very nice and informative. Okay, if spelling mistakes are there, you can just right click and it will be corrected and click on submit. So once it is submitted, you can display the pop-up message that thanks for submission. But here I forget to mention the pop-up message. So let me just close it and let me go to the list. Let me just come back again or refresh the list. Here you can see that the feedback is submitted. And here you can see that whatever text I have entered, automatically it will convert it into a HTML form. So when you are performing data analysis, so directly you can extract the PTAG information. So this way you can insert data into SharePoint list when new feedback is submitted using Power Automate. So I hope you understand that. So before ending this video, let me tell you what you have learned from this video. First, you learn that why you should use Power Automate to insert data into SharePoint list. And second thing you learn how you can insert data into SharePoint list using Power Automate using two different scenario. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as your source of IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world. If you have any question, don't hesitate to reach out to us. It has been a pleasure to share this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.